Future tech in the game is going to bring all sorts of exciting new things to the player. We have things like the threat detection grenade. I can throw it and see somebody behind a wall, see where the enemies are. We also have this thing called the mobile barricade. It's this big glass shield. You sink to it, and it knows where you're moving. It automatically window shuts down, quickly you shoot, and it goes back up. The directed energy weapons are a pretty cool new class that we've added to the game. It's so powerful, so much fun. On top of that, we have technology like the hover bikes and the hover tanks, things that can go all over terrain, not only hovering on water, but hovering on land. The future tech in the game is actually based on technology that we see today, and we've taken it further. That's one of the things about Call of Duty. It's got to be relatable, got to be believable. But we are taking it to an extent that makes it also fun and new. It's going to change the experience in Call of Duty like never before. Advanced Warfare is the technology of tomorrow in the hands of the player today. The exoskeleton is a game changer. It's the thing that's really ushering in the new era of Call of Duty. You're going to be able to jump really high. You're going to be able to run fast. We're adding cloaking abilities to it. You're going to be able to throw somebody further. You can grab a car door, pull it off a car, use it as a shield. Another exciting part about the exoskeleton is exo abilities. Overdrive is pretty cool because what it does is it makes you go faster, which looks like the world around you is going slower. The exoskeleton will change the game in a bunch of ways, but what we're trying to do is not to make it complicated. Many times, I mean, it's just one button. So if you're in the exo boost, you know, you just press the jump button and you'll jump. This toolbox that the exo brings to you as the player redefines how you're going to play Call of Duty. Supercharge your loadout with the Advanced Arsenal.